Today we are going to taste the 10 wines. 10 wines. Yeah. Okay. And they are all from Burgundy. Red or white? Red. Hmm. Well, last week was white. Yeah. Okay. You were a little bit disappointed by the quality of the Chablis. I was. I am excited. I love Burgundy. They are from five wineries. Five producers. Five producers. Okay. So that, but that doesn't mean two wines each. It just means from five producers. That means two wines for each. Okay. Two wines from each winery. Okay. So I am presuming then, if that's the case, before I even start to taste, I'm thinking uh -huh. about tasting. <laughs> I'm presuming that if you're buying two wines from each winery, they are at different levels. Why do you think so? Because why would you buy two wines at the same level and, unless you were concerned about one being corked or something? You want to, me to be able to tell the difference. It's a sneaky thing. You want me to, to try and be able to tell the difference in quality. Uh -huh. I checked the bottle conditions and on one bottle, the capsule was totally stuck to the bottle. So I ripped it off piece by piece because there was a leak. Is it port. a lower... Full. Not really. I serve you the wine. This is how I exercise every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a better way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Perhaps next time we should start doing it with magnums. Yeah. Of a cheap under ten dollar Chardonnay? No, no. <laughs> okay, looks great. Looks fantastic. Are we ready to go? Yeah, it looks expensive. So what do you think about the overall quality? Overall quality is fantastic. Yeah? yeah. Finally! Overall quality is fantastic. Peter is satisfied. I uh -huh. cannot believe 10 Burgundies, because I don't believe any of these is a $500 bottle. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe 10 Burgundies of this quality with entry-level wines in there. It's really astounding. Wonderful, wonderful tasting. All the wines show decently. If there's one wine that's a little bit not so good, we'll talk about that and see if maybe th there's an issue there. For sure, for me, of higher appellation wines, the last two, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, there's an appellate authority, there's something going on there that's more. But you know, down here, the entry-level wines, presuming that they are simple Bourgogne Rouge, mm -hmm. are also good. Also, I did not find the classic Burgundy characteristics of you know the savory sort of green sort of slightly unripe mm -hmm. only on one wine yes they're all relatively recent vintages but they're all kind of warm vintages 19 18 16 that kind of thing you're right yeah not hot but warm mm. so no green characteristics uh, no very nice easy to drink uh -huh. i haven't found any green characteristics so perhaps we should go through them i'm very pleased do you know what they are no oh, okay wine number one actually this is my lowest score but my lowest score was 16 and a half really out of 20. normally for you if it is a 16 and a half it's a one of the highest scores <laughs> <laughs> i think it's an 18. maybe it could be begonia uh, cote d'or and i would be so happy to drink that wine at 20 to 25 that's gorgeous value mm -hmm. at 45 it's bad value at 15 you need to buy everything you can mm -hmm. what do you then, say it was immediately minerally on the nose. To me, it was the least minerally, but that's what amazed me about all these wines, uh -huh. was the minerally character on all of them. I'm blown away. I loved it. It's so nice to hear you because <laughs> <laughs> last time I prepared what you liked, those no, Chablis. It was a terribly sad taste. Yeah. yeah. So this time when I was preparing these wines, I told myself, <laughs> Peter should be satisfied. <laughs> Well, you did a great job. All right, thank you. I smelled lots of uh, raspberry and strawberry and balance was good. And I liked it. So I think it's the lower level. Okay. I still love the wine. You still so love the for wine. For me, I'm just interested in the price. If it's 35, no. If it's 20, yes. Wine number one. Joseph Drouin, Côte de Vaux Village, 2018. It's $35. Yeah. No. No? There are better wines in this lineup, I'm guessing for less money. Okay. It's a very nice wine. I'd mm -hmm. be very, very happy to drink it, mm -hmm. but I want to drink it at 25 to 27. 
okay, then I give you some discount. Uh, because okay. it is already open. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a kind man. <laughs> I couldn't find more entry level wine of uh, Joseph Trois, so I couldn't find the Bourgogne Rouge. Okay. So that was the reason why I chose this uh, Côte de Bonne Village for their entry level one. Then wine number two? A slightly dusty perfume, mm -hmm. but a powerful perfume, sweet, clean. When you say dusty perfume, what kind of Th That perfume? dusty character, sometimes I get the dusty character from American oak. Mm -hmm. I don't know why these wines are getting uh, the sort of dusty character, but a slightly dusty character. Mm -hmm. uh, I found it had more grip and more minerality than the first wine, mm -hmm. more serious. I love this wine. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a higher appellation than the first wine, but I still thought it was a village wine and I scored it quite a lot higher. If this is an entry level wine, then it's amazing. Even as a village wine, it's pretty damn good depending on the price. This one is a purer and leaner than the previous one. Yeah, it's, it's focused, it's mm -hmm. linear, it's direct, mm -hmm. but it's still complex. And, and to me, there's the access to a fruit source that has more authority. Mm -hmm. More authority on the palate, more nuances, without getting all muddy. Lovely, lovely one. That's getting up to <laughs> stratospheric levels. All right, I see. Hard to breathe up there. What did you think? As I said, it's uh, leaner and purer than the previous one. But leaner, not in a negative sense, right? No, no, no. No, in a positive sense. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like a little bit lighter, but it's firm. It, it has grip. I think it's the same vintage though. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you think so? It's, it's sort of like a family resemblance to me, to mm -hmm. the first wine, mm -hmm. but just sort of elevated. Wine number two. Domaine AF Gros Bourgogne Haute Côte de Nuit, 2018. It's $40. $40? Yeah. Okay. It's because it's AF Gros. The wine's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And also, as I've been saying, the Côte de Nuit, the grapes are a whole lot cheaper than they are from the more classic parts of Burgundy. The quality coming out of the Côte de Nuit for both white and red is improving all the time, faster than the price of the grapes. Is the wine worth $40? Yes. Is that Appalachia worth $40? Not yet. No. But now you're paying for AF Gros. So now you're paying for not terroir, now mm. you're paying for winemaking. Yeah. You know, we, we were tasting it blind, right? Yeah. It drank like a higher level. Uh-huh. Yeah. Beautiful so, wine. So there is a reason why it can be expensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a beautiful wine. Then the wine number three? It had more nose, more minerality, a beautiful balance, bigger shoulders. Mm -hmm. So oak, bigger shoulders, sort of trying to say to me, it's a more serious wine. I'm going for a village wine here. Uh -huh. I got a very high score from me. Absolutely love this wine. It's a wine you need to think about a little bit more. It's a wine that, you know, I'd be very happy to drink either of these two right now. This one maybe wait a year. A gorgeous wine. But how about you? For me, this is the only wine where I sense the VA. You know, I smell that sweet sour character that you're talking about. It's not obtrusive to me. It's not something that detracts from the wine. Once I hear your explanation, it tastes better and better. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works with our viewers too. <laughs> it's how it works with everybody. We are so subject to our own influences uh -huh. and even more so to the influences of the people around us. I used to teach classes at a local university and I was teaching classes in blind wine tasting. I would tell the people, just remember, that at every table, there is one person that is very, very, very outspoken about his or her views mm -hmm. and purports to be extremely knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And then I would tell them, and that is usually correlated with the worst palate at the table. Yeah. Do not listen. Uh -huh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Because <laughs> the suggestion and the auto-suggestion is just all too easy. At every table, there is a one person. At like least that. one, but yeah. usually just one who knows it all, <laughs> and he's got a terrible palate. <laughs> 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 so the whole table gets it wrong, you know. <laughs> Those are the con men of the world, you know, the kind of people that talk little old ladies into paying millions and millions of dollars for something that never happens. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see it. I loved it. Okay. All right, wine number three. Louis Jadot, Bonne Clos des Ursules, 
premier cru monopole 2018. It's $80. $80. You have to pay that for an 18 point wine. So it is that good. Now, that $40 wine before it provides beautiful, beautiful drinking. But this is better. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in Burgundy, for a wine that's one point better, you pay double the money. But it's a beautiful wine. As Jadot is very, very serious. That's a beautiful bottle of wine. Wine number four? Wine number four is interesting. Is it one of the better entry-level wines? Or is it a village wine? Very, very minerally. Mm. Lovely, lovely fruit. But the nose was faint and not very complex. No. If it's a village wine, mm -hmm. it's fine. But if it's a Bourgogne Rouge, it's even better. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would expect it to be slightly more expensive than regular Bourgogne Rouge. For me, it's uh, not very complex, but it was not simple. It was a little bit high in alcohol. It was immediately minerally for me. Oh, the bottle is so heavy. Ah. Lucien Le Moine, Bon Premier Cru, Les Clos des Mouches, 2017. And it's $110. Not good enough for the price. Not good enough for the price. Not in the not in this lineup. Uh -huh. Not in this lineup. I love the package. Yeah. Could you hold the bottle for me? <laughs> it is so heavy. <laughs> wow, it is heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy. As you sometimes say, they spend too much money for the bottle. It's also a violation of the planet. Wow, this is really heavy. Look at the bottle. It's higher than the others and it's bigger than the yeah, others it's too. Mar it's marketing. Yeah, it's marketing. It was not great for the price. I don't think so. No. All right, wine number five. I loved it. It had a little bit of astringency to it. Mm -hmm. But on the nose, it was very spicy, like curry. Yeah, it's very spicy. True. And we want spicy burgundy, right? We love that. And the, the nose is so smooth and clean. And uh, I love the authority and the length on the palate. You know, when, when you look at burgundy, you also look for something I haven't even talked about today, which is one of the things that sets fine Pinot Noir and particularly fine Burgundy apart from almost anything else you can drink is the mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Soft, silky, sexy, sultry mouthfeel. It should never be gritty in the mouth. It should never be Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. Definitely it shouldn't taste like Cabernet Sauvignon when you are <laughs> drinking <laughs> Pinot Noir. <laughs> this is true. Particularly red burgundy does that almost no other grape variety does mm -hmm. is to deliver you sexy mouthfeel. And does this wine carry those things? Actually, uh, not yet. It does not have the perfectly silky mouthfeel. Uh -huh. All right, I'm so curious. So, shall you we too. see what it is? Let's have a look. So, wine number five it's a Louis Jadot Pinot Noir Bourgogne 2018. It's $20. Uh Take me home. <laughs> Country that, road. One, two, three, four, five. That, that's for $20? Yeah, $20. But I mean, I told you, Jadas is a very, very serious producer. Mm. If you remember, we tasted uh, this wine before and our evaluation was great. It's good. Yeah. yeah. That's a great, great buy for $20. Yeah. Now run to wine stores and buy Louis Jadot Bourgogne. <laughs> 2018. <laughs> Lovely bottle of wine for the money. Yeah. Twenty dollars. Wow. It's time to run. <웃음> 이럴 땐이 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.